Have you planned how will you become a school topper? It was right after the lunch break. The students came running back into the classrooms and I was waiting for them to have an interaction with them. Now, this was class 10th I was supposed to be interacting to. They came in, they settled down and I realized that uh, they just come in from the break and I started a conversation about, you know, what are your plans for life? What is it that you're looking at? And the conversation started and this girl sitting on the last desk, on the last bench, she said, this year it's my board exams and my dream is to be a school topper. And uh, I looked at her and I said, wow, that's fantastic. How do you intend to do it? She said, you know, I am thinking big and I'm having big dreams and uh, my dream is to really be your topper. And I said, yeah, that's great. But is there a plan in place? Is there a, have you set smaller milestones? Have you planned how will you become a school topper? And to which she said, uh, you know, I'm dreaming about it day and night. And I laughed. And, and she was puzzled and I said, okay, let's talk about, uh, you know, why dreaming is useless. And, and they were all shocked and they were looking at me that dreaming is useless. The world is talking about dream, big, dream, dream. And this man standing here says that dreaming is useless. You know what? Dreaming without planning, having a dream without having a goal is actually useless. Now, what am I really referring to? Now, so there is a difference between, you know, they say one of the skills that one must develop in life to be really successful is to know the art of goal setting and not just merely dream. And especially when the exams are around the corner, it's important to understand the difference between the dreams and the goals. Now, I'll give you an example. Now, somebody says that I really want to improve my marks in mathematics and uh, their, let's say their current score is 50% and they want to score 90. Now, you know, from 50 to 90 is a journey. It does not happen overnight. Now, only by saying that, you know, my dream is to score 90% does not really help. So what do we do? What is the tool? Now, the tool is to have a smart goal have a smart goal now when i say smart goal i'm not referring to an outer appearance of a smart goal let me break it down now when you say that i want to score 90 percent in my board examinations though i'm not a big fan of marks but then i'm giving this example because a lot of students talk about scoring better marks now if your goal is 90 percent it's it's more of a dream because there is no goal there is no smart goal in action now what is this smart goal all about let me explain that part now s stands for specific are you very specific about what is it that exactly that you need right m stands for measurable is it actually measurable a stands for achievable is it really achievable for example if you this month you scored about 50 next month you want to score 95 is that really achievable right r stands for reasonable are you being reasonable enough on yourself to be able to achieve that uh, t stands for time bound right so any dream which does not any anything which does not have these elements specific measurable achievable reasonable and time bound is actually nothing but just a, just a dream now what is the difference dreams are vague goals are very specific uh, dreaming is all about thinking goals are about doing you know dreams can be you know it's in the thinking domain while a goal is actually in a doing domain now i'll give you some examples while you you know while you all are preparing for your exams which are around the corner just have a just try to understand the difference here when you say that i'll give you some examples i want to be good at i want to improve my spelling now that's a mere dream how do you convert it into a goal now when you say that i am going to improve my spellings by learning five new words every day over the next three months now that's a goal because that's very specific uh, it's measurable it's pretty much attainable it's very reasonable because five words a day is doable and it's time bound because you are giving yourself three months and the good news is that goals and dreams these are not only applicable to you know kids and teens these are applicable to just about anybody right now when you say that i want to be i want to improve my handwriting how many of you get scoldings for having bad handwritings i had pathetic handwriting 
during my school days and now if you have if you want to really improve your handwriting how do you really do that so while the dream is I want to improve my handwriting it's a mere goal it's a mere dream the goal is when you say I'm going to improve my handwriting by spending 10 minutes into practice every single day over the next two months now that is where you have converted a dream into a goal there is a survey by Howard which says that you know people who people who have goals not just dreams people who have specific goals specific measurable attainable reasonable and time out goals they are bound to achieve their so-called dreams the probability goes up by about 90 percent so do not have just dreams have goals that's the skill you must acquire thank you